William Harvey also studied medicine at the University of Padua, about 50 years after Vesalius. Although Vesalius had shown that Galen could be wrong, most doctors were still relying on Galen's ideas. His work was reprinted many times in this period and widely read in the universities. Harvey used scientific methods to prove things. Instead of just accepting Galen's work, he carried out many of his own experiments on animals. This was how Harvey discovered that Galen was wrong about how the blood moved around the body. He came up with a completely new discovery of the circulation of the blood. By careful measuring, Harvey worked out that the amount of blood pumped by the heart was so much that it couldn't be used up in the way Galen described. Galen said that the liver produces blood which is used up for the body's food. What my work shows is that the blood is sent round the body by the heart. Furthermore, it is not used up. The same blood circulates round the body again and again. By 1616, Harvey knew Galen had got it wrong. We can see this because some of his lecture notes are still preserved from that time. But it was still a big thing to argue that Galen was mistaken. So, over the next 12 years, he carried out many more experiments to prove his theories beyond all doubt. All of the demonstrations in this film were created by following Harvey's own instructions. He used methods such as tying up veins and arteries and pumping in water so he could see, with his own eyes, how fluid travelled through the heart. In Harvey's most famous experiment, he proved that blood only travelled round the body in one direction. He showed that if you put your finger above a valve in the vein of the arm and then flatten the vein up to the next valve, the vein cannot fill up again until you take your finger away. Blood can only flow in one direction through the veins. He'd already seen this working in animals. He'd put probes into veins and saw that the probe didn't get far if it was inserted the wrong way. If he inserted it in the other direction, it passed easily. Harvey felt this must be the way that blood travelled. He finally published his work in 1628. Now all his experiments could be copied, any other scientist could check whether he was right. In his book, he pointed out that his work was based not on textbooks, but on dissections. His thinking can still be demonstrated today. This is another description from his work. I took the shell from an egg and placed the egg in warm water. Here I could see a small spot which beat. I concluded that this was the beginning of life. It's over 350 years since he wrote this, but we can still see what he saw. He was accurate because he relied on his own scientific observations and didn't just rely on what other people had written. Harvey's work made today's medicine possible. Understanding how the blood circulated meant that doctors in the future could develop blood transfusions and major surgical operations. <laughs> <laughs>